Hi guys, say hello to my big head. Just kidding. All right, let's get this start off. The Merriam-Webster's Dictionary are synonyms and antonyms. Day 33, first word, receive. Okay, let's just get this start off. All right, today's our first word is recede, which basically means you're going backwards, like go back to where you were. It also means retreat. Well, there's another word that means that, aka retreat. And because retreat also means the same thing, that's the synonym of recede. Our antonym to this is proceed, because recede and proceed, they sound similar. Second of all, they mean the opposite things. And proceed is like proceed the operator. So, no, we're not receding, we're proceeding. Okay, so I mean, do you just go ahead instead of going backwards? Run back! Okay, our second word is retreat. Here, the synonym is retrograde, and the antonym is advance. Why is this? Well, retreat here just basically means the same thing as retreat, except here it's like a whole army, like, retreat! That means everyone should go back. And of course, the antonym is retrograde, and the, uh, sorry, the synonym is retrograde, and the antonym is advance. Our third word is ease. Here, the synonym is facility, uh, facility, because when you're at, you're at ease, when you're in a facility, and the antonym is effort. Our fourth word is actual, with the synonym being real, because when something's actual, that just basically means it's real, and you can literally touch it and things. Usually, and our antonym is ideal. Our fifth word is recede, which is the synonym is retreat, and the well, I realized I just use the same word. All right, our actual fifth word is abstain, where the synonym is forbear and our antonym is indulge. Why is that? Well, when you're abstaining something, you're like, you know what, I'm not gonna do this, I'm abstaining my money from this gallery and uh, gambling because I'm not a gambler. Well, what if I told you that every ten dollars you gamble, I give you ten? I give you fifteen dollars. Really? Okay, I'll do it. Oh, wait. gamble one hundred dollars. Oh, here's the cat. Oh wait, before you do, oh never mind. Well, well, here's the catch. Every hundred dollars, it's the equivalent of just uh, like five hundred dollars. Are you serious? Okay, fine. Fine, I'll gamble it away. Boom, 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 boom. And he keeps gambling, gambling, gambling. Say, so you must have at least a minimum of five hundred dollars. Are you serious? Yes. And how much money do I have? Well, currently you have uh, five hundred dollars. I'm not spending all that money. Unfortunately, you have to if you want to gain some money. Okay, fine. So that works out well enough, and this is why you should never gamble, because there are scammers everywhere. Our sixth word is true, where the synonym is real and the antonym is literally false. Which works out pretty well. Our seventh word is retract, and of course here the synonym retract just basically means you're going backwards when you're putting something back into its place. So the uh, synonym would be back, and here the antonym is protract because when you're protracting something, you're like taking it out. Like when you're retracting a retractable ladder, that just basically means you're shrinking the ladder. Like look, you can expand it to this, but then you can like put it down, put it together into this. And when you're protracting, you're actually expanding it. Our eighth word is common, where the synonym is mutual and our antonym is individual. Our A word is common. Something that in VGs, you know that as something that you can get really, really, really fast. Like you get a 90, 80% chance of getting that thing while the rest are like 20% chance, 10% chance, 5% chance, 1% chance. Man, those are really rare kits. The synonym to this is mutual and our antonym is individual because apparently when something is common you are just like this antonym is individual. Here the commoner is just like one of out of many and the individual is like just one out of one. Our ninth word is respect, which is basically means you're regarding something and high value in things and our antonym is scorn. Our tenth word is admire, where the synonym is esteem and the antonym is abhor, which works out really well. I hope to see you guys in the next episode and really I really hope you guys actually do esteem me, aka admire me, and I'll see you guys soon. The next time you're not out, peace. Bye bye!